Hey guys, it's me Sujo over here. Welcome back to another video. So on this video, I'm going to be talking about why staying healthy in Vietnam is important. Okay, so um, if you're new to my channel, the name of my channel is called as Sujo in Vietnam. I've been living over here for over six years now. I was an English teacher here before in Vietnam for a couple of years. Uh, three and a half years to be precise and then I started my online uh, digital marketing business and I'm also doing full-time YouTube so if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel so uh, yeah this is one topic which is very close to my heart and I kind of my I, I try to have a very healthy active lifestyle um, uh, over here in Vietnam because I've been living over here for so many years now <clears throat> so you can see that um, I'm just starting my day with the morning black coffee tastes nice and a bit strong and also you know I usually like to have an apple uh, for my breakfast uh, so that you know there's a say an apple a day keeps the doctor away uh, right so um, why it is important to stay healthy in Vietnam um, for most expats okay so say you're coming out here for a visit um, you know like say you're gonna be out here for a couple of weeks or you're gonna stay here for a couple of months or you're, you're already staying out here in Vietnam for a couple of years so uh, firstly is that um, if I just give you the uh, if I just give you an overview uh, Vietnam in general is one of the least obese country in the world okay so uh, Vietnam in general is a very healthy country and that's the that's the main reason why I've been out here in Vietnam for so many years is because uh, because um, the food is very healthy okay it is very um, there's uh, very less oil it's extra uh, Vietnamese food is supposed to be very healthy very balanced um, you know, uh, so like say for example, if you're eating a bowl of pho, uh, which is the Vietnamese noodle, um, you know, so you have like the meat, you have the vegetables, uh, you know, uh, or if you're having a bun mi baguette, you got the meat, you got a lot of uh, veggies and everything and you know in general also like if you try other Vietnamese dishes, uh, they usually like to balance that out with a lot of veggies. Um, so that's what I like. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, so it's it's just that uh, you know uh, it's very hard to find uh, uh, any obese uh, Vietnamese people around here. Generally, most of them are very fit. Even like if you're going around and you know if you, if you most even most Vietnamese women, you know they are very uh, they have a, they have the perfect body. They're very fit. Uh, they're like petite, but they're very, uh, they're not fat, <clears throat> unlike in Thailand where, you know, you find a lot of, you find a lot of uh, fat chicks around there, um, fat Thai girls and, you know, like BBWs, um, I like BBWs <laughs> in general, but, um, you know, like compared to, if I compare that with Thailand, you know, like the food here in Vietnam is extremely very healthy and uh, very balanced. Uh, so now coming to the point over here is that uh, unfortunately Vietnam does not have the best air quality okay so if you're going to Hanoi or if you're in Saigon you're going to be exposed to a lot of pollution um, you know so it's uh, and you know this is like micro microgram <clears throat> sorry let me just have a bit of my coffee so you have the microgram um, you know like pollution particles all coming in and everything so if you're not a very healthy person it's very easy to fall sick over here in Vietnam I'll be very honest with you uh, if you're not if you're not having a, a, a balanced diet and if you're just uh, eating a lot of burgers and pizzas and you know just stuffing yourself with a lot of alcohol uh, 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 the chances of you getting sick in Vietnam is going to be very high. Um, so that's the reason why I like to, you know, always eat very healthy food. I hardly eat any um, burgers and pizzas. I, I, I hardly eat any McDonald's also um, or Burger King, you know, like it's just once in a while. 
So like maybe in a month I can just go twice and just, uh, you know, have a McDonald's burger and just enjoy myself uh, with a Big Mac meal. But uh, yeah, so that's the first reason. The second one would be the traffic. Like I said, uh, there is a lot of... Um, there's a lot of pollution and to add, there are a lot of two wheelers out here in Vietnam. So, so the traffic can be very stressful. Okay. The traffic can be very stressful emotionally, mentally, you know, if you are on a daily basis, if you're seeing a lot of more motorbikes and you got to walk, walk across the road or, you know, the noise pollution and everything. Cause so yeah, uh, yes, the noise pollution is also very high out here in Vietnam. So you got to, you, you know, you got to keep your brain, you got to be mentally very fit. Okay. You have to have a healthy, uh, um, uh, you know, so it's very important for you to be very healthy so that you are mentally very strong. You're very mentally, very prepared when you're out here in Vietnam or when you're living out here, uh, in the long run, um, you know, so that it does not bother you. It does not take a toll. So is my air con making a bit of noise anyways? Yeah. So it makes it makes a bit of um, you know it can it can be a bit frustrating. So uh, and that's the reason why you know I like to you know I like to work out every day. You know like uh, four to five. I mean I, nowadays I do five times per week. You know I do calisthenics workout and that keeps me mentally very sharp. Um, you know the third one which I want to talk about why it's important for you to stay healthy in Vietnam would be the food safety. Um, you know, I, I try to minimize eating uh, too much outside because uh, Vietnam does not have a good track record of hygienic food, uh, hygienic street food compared to like in Thailand where, you know, I, I have no, I, I don't have any um, hesitations having any street foods in Bangkok because I know like the food is very clean. They put it in a very hygienic packet. They give it to you. But here in Vietnam, you got to be a bit cautious because, um, uh, you know, half of the street foods out here, they're not very, they're not very hygienic. It's very easy for you to get sick. Uh, you know, like maybe, you know, maybe the bun mi was not fresh or the pho was not fresh. Uh, or maybe, you know, if you're having something else. Um, so, um, you know, I try to, you know, in order to avoid that, I try to go to like, uh, like 7-Elevens or GS25s, you know, just pick up something from there, some snacks and all that, because I know the snacks and all those food items, they're all fresh, so I don't have to worry about that, you know, like, um, so yeah, so it's just like also, I, I recommend, you know, do a bit more indoor cooking, um, you know, just, you know, cut some fruits, veggies, keep that with you in handy, Always stay hydrated because Vietnam is a tropical country. It's very easy for you to get dehydrated very fast. Um, sometimes when I'm walking around, like yesterday when I was at District 1, it was extremely hot. Um, I just, uh, you know, kept one, um, you know, like this hydrating drink, which is called as Pokari Sweet, if I'm right. Yeah, so I just buy a big one and just keep myself hydrated. So yeah, it's it's very important, and also why I think you should stay healthy and important is in Vietnam is because of access to healthcare. Okay, so like say for example, if you're staying some, if you're staying in a faraway district in Ho Chi Minh or in Vietnam, or if you're staying in the countryside, uh, your access to healthcare would be very limited, uh, and you don't know like. Uh, what kind of treatments you may get in case if you're getting food poisoned or whatever it is. So staying healthy, eating fresh, working out, doing exercise, uh, you know, like four to five times a week or, you know, just, uh, you know, staying, having a healthy, active lifestyle would minimize your chances of being uh, hospitalized. Okay. Uh, you know, would minimize your chances of being getting food poisoned okay so I've, I've noticed this personally if you're healthy uh like if i work out and everything uh, my chances of getting food poisoned out here is in vietnam is very low um and also uh i don't have i haven't been hospitalized here in vietnam for so many years now uh because i like to keep my lifestyle very active so just a couple of recommendations which i want to suggest is that 
Um, you know, of course, I know this is TED time. This is the Vietnamese Lunar New Year. You may not have access to gym. Gyms are closed and everything. You can. And that's the reason why I always do home workouts. I always do calisthenics. I do a bit of weights. Um, and I do a high intensity workout. I've always been doing it from home or if I go to a hotel, uh, I make sure I have the perfect spot to do some stretching exercises, some push ups, some squats. Um, I haven't been to gym for over for over five for over three, four years now. Uh, because you know, like during TED time, you know, things shut down and then you know, like what do you do? Gym is closed or your yoga center is closed. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna be at home and drink all day or just gonna be like a lazy bum. So you gotta have that alternative of doing workout from home, okay? So uh, if you don't have access to gym, go out for a run, okay? Go for a run in the mornings, um, you know, early mornings or, uh, you know, do some stretching exercise at home or, you know, do some little bit of high intensity workouts. Uh, you can, you know, get all these apps, you know, fitness apps, you know, from your, uh, from your Android phone or Apple iOS. Um, I like to follow 10X, um, you know, like I have the 10X app, so I have my customized workout programs. Or maybe, you know, you can just download some, uh, you know, full body workouts from YouTube, you know. Um, and, you know, just try to do it step by step, you know, like just... You know, keeping a very active lifestyle, cover all those like 5,000 steps per day or, you know, like 7,000 steps per day, you know, buy a smartwatch, you know, which will keep track of your uh, movement. Uh, yes, uh, uh, if you you know, like Vietnam is a great country, like if you're staying in uh, Ho Chi Minh in, uh, or in Hanoi, do a lot of walking, you know, you can do a lot of walking out here. If you love walking and if you feel that the heat is not going to bother you a lot you know i mean of course wear a cap uh you can uh, always stay hydrated like i said um keep a towel with you or something or but you know you really can walk a lot and burn a lot of calories especially in this kind of tropical country uh environment so yes you can burn a lot of calories uh, if you don't mind uh, if you love uh, walking or if you're staying around the beach, you know, you can go for a lovely morning walk during the mornings or have a run. Go in the evenings, go for a walk, have a run, you know, whatever it is. Start eating clean, okay? Like eat a lot of clean food. Minimize eating too much outside, you know. Don't just always confine yourself eating burgers, fries, pizzas. And, you know, don't be like those fat expats, you know, just like guzzling beer every night. Um, you know, cause that's not good for your health in the long run, you know, it's going to hit you, uh, at one point, you know, like drinking alcohol in Vietnam is very common over here. And in general, Vietnam has one of the highest alcohol consumption rates. I'm talking about beer. So I know in Tet holiday, people drink like crazy. Um, and trust me, like, you know, I know the Tet holiday was, the new year was yesterday, and, but I still did my, I did my calisthenics workout, um, and I did it like two days, three, I'm doing it consist, consistently, and that's the reason why I don't always rely on gyms and fitness centers, because I like to have my own space when I work out, you know, so I like to do it, work out from home, and I do a lot of high intensity, you know, you know, calisthenics, cardios and everything. So, yeah, I mean, uh, start working out from home. Like, you know, even if it is, I know it's TED time, gyms are closed and your yoga centers, work out from home, go for a run in the morning, get back in shape, you know, don't rely heavily in, on gym. Yeah, when you're fit, when gyms open, yeah, join a gym. Yeah, like after TED, join a gym for sure. There's so many inexpensive gyms around here in Saigon, you know, like it's not very expensive. Uh, you know, you can you can join a gym for as low as two hundred thousand Vietnam dong. That's I believe that's around. Um, that's even less than ten dollars a month. You know, so like you can join a gym. Uh, you know, I used to always go to local Vietnamese gym. I or you know, if you want to go do, you can join Fit Twenty Four, or you can join those high end fitness uh, centers like California Fitness and all those places. But you know, there's so many gyms across here in Saigon. Um, even in Hanoi, you know, and usually Vietnamese people, they do a lot of gym. They like to keep a lot of, they, they are very fit. They like to have all those six pack abs and everything. Um, uh, you know, so yeah, I mean, you can do that, but right now during TED, you know, do some indoor, uh, workouts or go for a run.
eat clean, uh, make sure to have your veggies and have a lot of fruits. I like to have a lot of watermelon, especially when it's very hot. I mean, out here in the countryside. So, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys found this video to be insightful. Uh, I don't want to keep it long. If you uh, enjoyed watching this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're traveling around in Southeast Asia and you want to start a successful online business, make sure to check the link down in the description below. Uh, you can join my income stream website uh, and there is a big launch happening uh, where you can make a lot of money. So you can be very stress free when you're traveling around in Southeast Asia and live a passive income lifestyle. So with that being uh, with that being said, you guys have a blessed day and again, wish you guys a very happy new year. Peace out.